In this episode, I'm going to cover wiring up the Firebase Auth for Android. I'll start off by creating a Firebase app, then I'll install the Google Services.json. After that, I'll import the Google Sign In and Firebase Auth plugins, and finish with wiring up the sign in and testing the process. So, to get started, I'm going to create my app, and I'm going to do that in the terminal this time. So, I'm going to go Flutter, create. And I'm going to use an org, com.cocat, which is my root domain. And then I'm going to name my app Firebase Sandbox. I could use underscores, but I'm going to keep it one word for now. So I'm going to generate the app by hitting Enter, and the app will generate. OK, I'm ready to open it up in IntelliJ. So I'm going to go to IntelliJ. And I'm going to open up the application. So I'm going to go to the Flutter application I just generated, and that's going to be in my training Flutter directory, and it's going to be the Flutter Firebase Sandbox app. So I'm going to open. So my next step is to create a Firebase app, but before I do that, I want to identify the application ID in my build.gradle file under app in my Android directory. So I'm going to open up the build.gradle, and what I'm looking for is the application ID. And here's the organization name and the name of my project. And what I want to do is copy this, and I'm going to take this to create the app. So now I'm going to go to the browser, and I'm already in the Firebase console. I'll include a link to this in the video description. And what I want to do is go to the dev sandbox that I've created already. And I'm not going to walk through how to create an app. It's pretty easy, but I'm going to click on this. Once I've created the app, I've already created an application inside this project, and what I want to do is add another app. If you create a project, you can do this all in one swoop. So now I'm going to go to the Add Another App, and I'm going to select Android. And what I want to do is paste in the application ID I just copied from my Android project. And then I'm going to name my application, My Firebase Sandbox. So I need the SHA-1, and what I'll do is use my developer credentials. So I'm going to use the question mark to get the instructions. So I need to get the SHA-1, and the way I do that is go to the instructions, see this page. And what I want to do is scroll down and find the Mac command that for the key tool. And I'm going to copy this key tool command and go back to my IDE. And once I'm in the IDE, I'll go down to the lower left and click on the terminal. Once I have the terminal open, I'm going to paste in the key tool command and get my SHA-1. And the password is empty, so I'm going to hit enter because it's my developer credentials. And I'm going to expand this a little bit so I can see all the text that it generated in the console. And what I want to do is copy the SHA-1. So I'm going to copy the SHA-1 here, copy, and then go back to the browser. And I'm going to go to where I was just creating my application and paste it in. Okay, so there's my developer SHA-1, and I'm going to click on register the application. Okay, the next step is download Google Services.json, and you can see the instructions say put it in the app directory. So I'm going to download that. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to show it in my file manager, which is my finder on my Mac. Move this over to the left a little bit, and then go to the IDE. And what I want to do is drag that into the app directory right here. So I'm going to drag that into my app directory. And you can compare this project to the Firebase Auth example project. If you don't exactly know where to put it, compare to the Firebase Auth example project. And I'll show that more in a moment. So I'm going to minimize the bottom because I don't need that anymore. And what I want to do next is set up the pubsec.yaml. So I'm going to set up the pubsec.yaml. And I'm going to get ready for imports. i got two imports to put here. So the first one is I'm going to go to the browser. And it's the Google Sign In. I'll put a link to this in the bottom of the description of this video. I'm going to copy this, go back to my IDE, and paste it in. Okay, so that's the first package. I need one more package, so I'm going to go back to the browser. Okay, Firebase Auth. I'm going to include the link to this into the video description, and I'm going to copy Firebase Auth dependency and go back to my IDE and paste it in. Now that I've pasted them in, I want to get these dependencies, and I'll use packages.git to fetch them. Okay, once that's completed, there's one more step to do to configure the Android wiring. And what I want to do is go back to the project, and now I'm going to go to the Firebase Auth example application. So I'll include the link to this package, and its name is Firebase Auth, and you can see it's in the plugin packages. 
and I'm going to navigate to the example application, navigate to the example application, and I'm going to go into the Android directory. And what I want to open first is the build.gradle. And if you scroll down, I'm looking for the class path for the Google services, and I'm going to copy that class path. You can see there's another class path defined already too, and you'll see that in the project in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my IDE, and in the build.gradle, same build, Android, build.gradle, and here's that other existing class path, the same as the example application, and then I'm going to paste in the Google services class path. The next step is the app gradle file. So I got to go back to the project. I'm going to go back and I'm in the example Android and then I'm going to go into the app directory and here's the build gradle for this app directory and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. There's an apply plugin for Google services. So I'm going to copy that, go back to the project that I'm creating and what I want to do is go into the app, find build.gradle and scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm going to put in apply plugin Google services. Okay, I am now finished with the Android project wiring. So I can minimize this on the left. The next step is to go to my main.dart live folder. And what I want to do is wire up the auth process. Well, I'm going to go back to the example application because it's the easiest to compare to and figure out how the wiring is done. So I'm going to go back to the example lib directory and main.dart. Okay, so the first two things are I need to import two libraries and that'll be the Firebase Auth and Google Sign-In. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my application, go to the top and paste that in. So that makes it easy for me to do the next step. So if I scroll down, I can see the instantiation of two instances here and these are members of the library. So I'm going to copy them and go back to my app and then instantiate those in my process. So I'm going to Fetch the auth instance and Google sign in, and I'll use the auth here in a moment. Okay, so I'll go back to the, the example application. If I scroll down, there's a nice nifty method to copy, and that is test sign in with Google. Now keep in mind, this might change in, in between now and the time you look at this video, so just keep an eye in Google sign on sign in, and Firebase user, we have auth sign in with Google. So I'm going to copy this method, copy, or it might be a function. It looks like it's a library function. So I'm going to paste in the library function. And the future library hasn't been imported yet. So I'm going to hit Alt-Enter and import the library, async library. And it imports and puts it at the top of the imports at the top. So now I want to test my sign-in process. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to use the action button to call this process. Okay, so I'm going to go down and find that. So I'm going to use the increment counter and I'm just going to paste in the method and finish it. On action button click, this will call my sign in process. But before I do that, I got one more thing I wanted to do. And what I want to do is print the user out in the console just to signify that, hey, this all works. So I'm going to go print and I'll go, this user is signed in. And then I'll say user and complete. So it'll print out the JSON of the user, which you can see the user here, the Firebase user. Okay, for some reason it looks like it didn't fetch the dependencies, so I'm going to click on Get Dependencies at the top and fetch the dependencies. Okay, we're good to go, so now I'm ready to test it. Okay, it looks like I need to allow Google services over here on the left. I forgot to mention earlier that you have to use an emulator with Google Play set up. And I won't cover that in this video, but when you go to create an AVD emulator, be sure to pick an image with Google Play services. Okay, I'm going to select Accept because I want to use the Google settings on this phone. My application has booted up, so I'm ready to test the sign-in, so I'm going to click on the Action button. This is a good sign. Okay, it's asking me to sign in. I haven't signed in before on this device, so I'm going to sign in. And that'll be gb.guck at one at gmail.com. This is my developer account, so I'm going to click on Next. And I'm not going to show my password. Okay, so I'm going to enter my two-step authentication. Click Next. And accept the agreement. Google Services Setup, I'm going to select Next. Okay, it has success successfully signed in, and I can see the output 
in my console, here's the Firebase user and all of the properties for that object. Fantastic. Well, that was an easy process to set up my Google Sign In and Firebase Auth. This concludes this episode on setting up Firebase Auth. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.